Civil War Preservation Trust. The Civil War Preservation Trust seeks to preserve and protect our nation's Civil War battlefields uh, throughout the nation. Uh, we are also actually taxpayers and landowners in Lawrence County, having preserved a key property of the mine run battlefield not too far from here. Uh, we are opposed to the Walmart proposal. We know there is an unfortunate misconception that the proposed Walmart would not be on the battlefield. Actually, the site lies within the historic boundaries of the wilderness as identified in the 1993 study uh, by a Blue Ribbon panel, panel created by Congress after the loss of battlefield land in Prince William and Fairfax counties. Any development on this historically significant land should be carefully planned to avoid irreparable damage to the battlefield and national park. Let me reiterate that we had no quarrel with Walmart and do not propose a store being built in Orange County just not at this historically sensitive location. Sitting at the gateway to a national park on identified battlefield land, Walmart would have a negative visual impact on the battlefield, as well as generate more development and increased traffic, making visitation to the park less and less attractive. A different location would allow everyone to win. Walmart still gets its store. The county still generates much needed economic growth. County residents still get a new retail option and the battlefield still retains its integrity. Civil War Preservation Trust and our preservation partners offer to help find such a win-win solution by funding a long-range planning study of the area, as in fact is called for in the county's comprehensive plan. This would identify the most appropriate locations for commercial development in the area near the National Park. At no financial cost to Orange County, we are proposing a good faith effort to pull our resources expertise to avoid the disjointed peaceful development that has plagued neighboring counties. I sincerely hope you have a chance to work with the Planning Commission and other county officials in such a project. Preserving and protecting the wilderness battlefield is in the county's financial district interest, especially on the eve of the Civil War sesquicentennial, which is being which will bring increased tourism and attention to the region. The wilderness is the most visited tourist attraction in Orange County as was noted by several previous speakers. Newly restored Elwood, which will become the visitor center for the battlefield, will only increase the attractiveness of the wilderness as a tourist destination, that is, if a, wilderness, if a Walmart is not built. Our position is simple. We do not oppose a Walmart in Orange County. In fact, we would welcome Walmart in another location that does not harm the battlefield. Respectfully, we ask Walmart and the county to join us in finding an alternative location nearby and everyone's best interest in this controversy and work for a common sense solution. Thank you. The system in 2007 received 275 million recreation visits, and those park visitors spent $12 billion in local gateway communities defined as those places within 50 miles of the park. And the typical non-local park visitor spends $71 per day in the local community. And obviously the degradation of the historic site would undermine in Orange County heritage tourism. This area, we already go there for the community college, for the library, for the retail space, for the sheets. And if Walmart comes, our round trip would be 12 miles closer than it is going to Colfax's present. And that would also be true for people in Spotsylvania County. So this is a county that wants economic growth. It wants money from its neighbors. And I'm here telling you that people from Culpeper and Spotsylvania County would come here and spend a lot of money. And I understand that the Walmart would be the largest private employer in the county the minute that it's built. That's what happened in Culpeper. The site in question is part of the battlefield and deserves to be treated with sensitivity and respect. The county also has an economic stake in maintaining the character of its eastern gateway. Visitors come from all over the country and beyond to experience wilderness battlefield. They expect to find a special place. If they find it buried within a maze of commercial clutter, not only will their experience be degraded, but they will make inevitable judgments about the community that allows a large-scale development at the, at the gateway to a national park. They will not return, nor will they recommend a visit to Orange County to their neighbors. Many low-income people have to drive 
30 plus miles to Walmart to shop. With gas headed for $4 a gallon again, it's cruel for you not to allow this Walmart to go in. How we treat the least of us determines our character. Walmart will not hurt blooms or the dollar store or the hardware store. Each has unique advantages. They said this about Culp Pepper, but now there are two food lines there. Hasn't anybody ever been to that great hardware store in Culp Pepper? Six Orange County needs the jobs. In the same paper that says this meeting is going to occur, it says more jobs cut in Orange. No one has spoken in favor of the location. They've said they, they like Walmart, so they'd like to have a Walmart. But it can be moved right down the road. Walmart fought for years to put at the store at Ferry Farms. They lost that battle. Fortunately, the Stafford County supervisor said no. They lost that battle. They put the store down the road, further down the road, and everybody's happy. not whether you personally want a Walmart or not in Orange County, but whether you have all the information at your disposal to make an accurate vote on whether or not the company and the developer meet all the requirements allowed to, to allow a non-conforming entity to be built on a site where it's not now permitted. You must ask yourself why when the rumor went around in the county that maybe a big box might be going in up there, that the previous planning commission and the previous board of directors suddenly passed a new law that put a, a resolution requiring an SUP there. What did it have to do with the county comprehensive plan for the future? I hope you look at every report, every study, every recommendation that you have gotten in order to make a professional determination. But do you really have all the information you need? 